up YouTube, it's your girl Brittany and I am back for another video. So, I see y'all liked it my last girl talk video. Don't mind my hair y'all, I just flat on y'all know how it is, need first flat on your hair. But, I see y'all liked it my last girl talk video. So, I'm gonna do another girl talk video for y'all. This one, we're gonna make it spicy. Rated R spicy. So, if you a kid, you might as well hop up off this video. If you an adult, stay comments tell me what y'all secrets is but no so the first question is gonna be do you like giving head or giving head laugh out loud i'm just trying to make it juicy yes i jump straight into it dive straight into the ocean but me myself i would say both because it's just like it give you a certain feeling when you give it to your dude because you just, you know, it make them feel a certain type of way. And I know dudes like getting it. But as a female, you're not finna give it and not receive it back. So, it's a 50-50 thing here. So, I like both. But getting it, it just like, it just like get you ready for like what's next to come. Have you ever... Somebody said, have you ever tried to wax yourself? I never tried to wax myself. I tried to wax my legs one time, and I got the wax all over my leg, and I never tried again. Would you ever do it with a girl, and I love you? I've said this before, but I know I have some newcomers. But, yes, I would have a threesome. I would try things out, like, with my spouse, with a girl, if he, if. I ask or if he asks because it's just like you literally only have one life to live. Why waste it being scary? You know? Cause if you ain't doing it, somebody best believe somebody else is probably doing it with him. What is the biggest deal breaker that would cause you to leave a relationship? This has nothing to do with it being a spicy video. But the biggest deal breaker for me in a relationship is if my man had a baby on me, I'm not playing stepmama. I'm not playing godmama. I'm not playing girlfriend, wifey, none of that. You, your baby, and your new baby mama, y'all need to go get y'all self together and y'all could be in a relationship together because the fact that you stepped out and had a baby with somebody else when I'm capable of having kids shows you have no respect for me. So therefore, if you step out on me and have a baby, you might as well just come home and tell me to pack my stuff and tell me it's over because I'm not staying with a man to have a baby. This is another one like I just answered. If your partner wanted a threesome, would you consider it? Yep. I would. We older. We ain't kids no more. It's no point in being like, uh, I don't want a girl touching me. I'll never touch a girl. Blah, 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 blah. Grow up. Okay. We, I'm almost 30. Dejan finna be 30. And even if it wasn't with Dejan and I was in a relationship with somebody else. And the conversation got brought up. I mean, it's either you tr you try it. You like it, you like it, you don't, you don't. If you like it, continue. You don't, don't ever do it again. You will never know unless you try it. Um... Girl, somebody said, tell them how men love they boss suck in the other the under part. Now, I can tell you about how men like they boss sucked. But the under part, like, is that like his booty hole? Because I'm not putting my mouth on nobody booty hole. Y'all remember on girl stretch? She was like, it's a booty hole. But no, for real. I'm not putting my mouth on no man's booty hole. Now, as far as the balls go, that's a part of the little, you know, penis area. So, you can suck that, lick it, play with it, do whatever. But I'm not. That little, that extra part that she said, if y'all do that, kudos to y'all. But me, I'm not doing that. Um, how do you feel about a man with a little penis? I don't know. Because I've never messed with a man with a little penis. So, I cannot answer that question. 
But if you have a little penis, then you should know how to work your tongue because something gotta have a balance here. If you got a little penis and your tongue ain't working right and your penis ain't working right, you just a walking red flag and ain't nobody gonna wanna deal with you because it's like, where is she getting the pleasure from? Is she supposed to go get her toy from the side of her drawer and pleasure herself while you sleep and you probably felt like it was oh, oh so good and she felt like, ugh, why am I messing with this thing? So if you're in a relationship like that, run. Have you ever sent someone five spicy attachments? Yes, I have sent out nudes are literally grown. Like, y'all know what they say about them quiet ones. It's true. But yeah, I have sent attachments. Looking good as hell today. Just send my nigga five attachments. Do you use toys? Yes. Y'all, I was having this conversation with my sister and her best friend, and we was talking about using toys. And my sister was saying, like, she don't own a toy or she, I don't think she ever used a toy or whatever. So me and her best friend was talking, and we was talking about, like, how we got the rose and how we tried this toy and that toy and this toy and that toy. And my sister was like, my little sister, like, I cannot believe you talking like this. But yes, I've used toys. Do you give oral and how often? All right, DeAsia, you you in my business a little too much because all these questions came from you. Or these last four questions came from X underscore DeAsia underscore. You a little freaky, Miss Mamas. But as I said earlier, yes, I give oral. How often? Um, have you ever raw dog a public toilet? Ew, no, that's disgusting. Why would you put your bare booty on a public toilet? Come on now, you was raised better than that. I know you was raised better than that. I don't even like peeing in public. The most embarrassing thing that happened while having sex. I don't think I've had an embarrassing moment. I don't even think we ever did anything embarrassing during, like, sex. I don't know. But the only thing, I know something, like, goofy that happened during sex. Like, I remember one time we was messing around, blah, blah, blah. And then I had stopped him. And then he was like, why did you stop? And I was like... Cause nigga, my goddamn back hurt. And we just started bust out laughing, fix the position. Everything was everything. But um, I don't think I ever had like anything embarrassing. Everybody keeps saying, would y'all have a threesome? Let me find out y'all want to have some threesomes. Y'all better tell y'all men y'all want to have a threesome and go find y'all somebody. <laughs> How many rounds can you go? I don't want to be telling y'all all my business. I ain't no tap out person. I'm tap out. So that's all y'all need to know. But I mean, to be honest, I could go rounds, but you know, once you get used to it, you know, like once you, when you first start, it feel like, Ugh, like, oh my God, it hurt. But then once you start getting used to it, it's on and pop it. Swallow or gnaw. It just depends on how I'm feeling at the time. Most of the time, I just spit it out because it's, it's just too much. But if I'm feeling like super freaky, I'm going to just swallow it and we just going to keep doing what we got to do. But if I'm just giving you oral because I'm probably like not in the mood to mess around right now and I just want to give you the feeling because... You being a man, and I know how men is when it comes to, like, sex. So, like, there are some times where I feel like, oh, my God, I'm too sleepy. 
I'm too sleepy right now and I just want to go to sleep. But I know I haven't done nothing with him today or if it's been like a day or two or something. Because come on now. Everybody don't have sex every day in a relationship. So if it's been like a day or two and I'm feeling like, oh my God, I'm so sleepy. I've been running around all day. I don't feel like no intercourse or nothing. I would just give him some head. Call it what it is. And I think I'm very experienced at that. So I think I do a pretty good job. But that's that's that. So sometimes I swallow, since most of the time I spit it out. And then it's like, mm, I don't know. But when y'all get done doing that, I hope y'all rinsing their mouths out. What's this counter is so sticky, y'all? We wop eight breakfast right here, and I just keep touching it. But um, somebody said, "What's your favorite position?" So I have two favorite positions. My first favorite position would be doggy style. My second favorite position, I don't know how it's called, what it's called, but it's basically like, say for instance, this is my body right here. I'm laying this way, and then like, this is my leg. So I would lift my leg up and then he would be like right here. So it's like you feel all of him. Baby, if you ain't never tried that position, you might want to try that tonight. Skip it. When this video is try it right now if you're a man at home. That is the best position. That's literally a, oh my God, I'm in love with him all over again type of position. Don't even tell your man I sent you. Just go do it. And if you're a man watching this, grab your girl up, have her body hanging off the bed, like right there on the edge, lift her leg up, go in between. She might even get up and start cleaning up. Um, do y'all dirty talk during sex? Sometimes, but not all the time. Like... When me and when me and Dejan first first started like messing around with each other, we were like music type of people. Like we would have music playing in the background when we messed around. But then now that we have a kid, when your kid is awake and you trying to get it in, you gotta hurry up because kids is cock blockers. Kids will be so quiet or playing a game the whole time, and as soon as you think, oh let's do something real fast while he playing a game. They just get off the game. Like, do you have superpowers or something? But I think that was the last question. Let me see. Yeah, that was the last question. Oh, somebody said, what's a normal time to last? For y'all that be talking about some, my man needs to last an hour. My man needs to last blah, 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 blah. Be serious. If you and your man is going... Round for round for round for round for round. Last an hour, something is wrong. Because your, your man should not last no hour. Especially if this is y'all first time doing it for the day. Now, if he, y'all didn't already did it and he didn't got himself back together, cool if y'all can go round for round for round for round. But when y'all first start, that man is not lasting no more than, i say probably like 10, 15 minutes. Probably not even that long. But I'm telling you, ain't, ain't no man finna last no hour. Especially not no man that's 100% um, attracted to you. So if your man lasted too long, that man is either cheating on you or he's not attracted to you. Or you need to figure out some new positions. You need to bring some toys into the bedroom. You need to... Add a little bit more spit in your throat. You need to guard, guard, guard when you're doing bobbing your head to him. You need to do something to make that man, when he inside of you and y'all doing stuff, he don't last no hour. But that is the end of this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. We are almost at. 100k subscribers and i know y'all tired of me saying this but if y'all just give me 200k subscribers guess what i'll stop saying it because we'll be there 
But I'll see y'all next video. Tomorrow when I see y'all, we'll be in Orlando.